Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my super messy pantry. We're about to get extra today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jen. I am a full-time working mom. I have two kids and on this channel you'll find a lot of lifestyle and home content. Lots of fun with food too. So if you're new, I hope that you stick around. Okay, so today I am going to organize my mess of a pantry and I know it is time to organize my pantry because I cannot find anything. And every time I take a can off the shelf, things are falling all over the place. So I got some supplies to organize with. I got some containers. I got my label maker out. Let me show you the mess this is and then I'll share with you the containers I got and then we'll get to organizing. Okay, so I have a small walk-in pantry Pantry that's just off the kitchen here and you can see that there is a lot of space in it however I am NOT utilizing the space to the best of its ability most of my baking supplies are over here and they need to be containerized and organized and everything like that and I usually keep my cans up here and right now I can't find anything and it's irritating me um, dry goods are right here. I definitely want to organize all of my pasta and rice and grains and things like that. Um, we usually keep snacks and cereal on this shelf and then down here usually I just keep like extra pots and pans and I keep my potatoes and onions and some instant pots. Um, yeah and then I want to clean the floor up a little as well. So that's what we're starting with. So I have resisted these containers for so long. Um, these are the BHG ones from Walmart, but there are also OXO ones that you can get. Any of these supplies that I purchased, I'll link them down below in case you guys are interested in them. But I did go ahead and purchase some of these because I think they will be super helpful to organize my dry goods. And I know it's an investment that's obviously gonna last me for a long time. I also brought my label maker from uh, upstairs in my office. This is something I normally use for like craft supplies and office needs and things like that. But I thought that it would be good to label the front of my containers. And the best part about these particular labels is that they do easily peel off. So if you want to change a container um, to something else, you can easily do that. And then I also have some dry goods over here that uh, have come in from Thrive Market and well, yeah, Thrive Market and Imperfect Foods. And these have not been organized yet, so that will be on my to-do list as well. Here are all the lids to those clear containers. And then I also picked up this, actually has two tiers. I'll share it with you once I get it put together. But I thought this would be neat to organize maybe some goods in boxes. And then I also picked up this two-tier turntable. Uh, I think this is very cool. I've never had anything like this in my pantry before, but it's double decker and on the top it's got these removable bins. I thought this would be really great to organize like granola bars and stuff. You can see kind of on the picture how they have it. And then I also, this was on clearance at Walmart, this drawer bin, and I thought this would actually be good to organize K-cups. Um, so I'm not sure yet, but that's my plan for now. And then I also picked up this uh, four-tier organizer. I actually have one of these, and so this will be my second one. And this is super useful for organizing like dry goods and packets of things. Okay, so the first plan of attack is to remove the dry goods from the pantry and sort them out on the counter according to type. That way we sort of have like a clean slate to start with. So as you can see, even during the organization process, I'm dropping things <laughs> all over the floor, but I do think it's really great to do this in your pantry at least twice a year. I usually find that about every six months, it's good for me to take everything out, take stock of what I have and replace everything. 
The good thing is that when I did this pantry clean out, I did not have any expired items, um, which is really great. So I've been doing a good job of using things up before um, they go bad or expire, which is definitely a plus. So like I said, I put everything out on my island. I'm super lucky to have this large island in my kitchen. My preference is to remove everything and then sort of organize by type. So what you see me doing right now is just organizing all of the canned beans together, all of the condiments together, all of the marinara sauce together, just things like that to make sure that I have everything in like groups before I put it back into the pantry. Next, I'm gonna start filling up these clear containers. I really love these. I love that I can see through them. I love that they stack up and I will definitely be getting more. I'm gonna use a combination of these as well as some mason jars since I didn't have enough of the clear containers to organize all of my dry goods. And like I said, I'm definitely getting extra, but you know, I do spend a lot of time in my kitchen and I spend a lot of time in my pantry. So to me, it's not really any different than organizing your office supplies if you spend a lot of time in your office. I do also like to save um, old like spaghetti marinara jars and just pickle jars, different things like that, repurpose them for dry goods. It's a good way to cut down on waste and it's cheaper than buying regular mason jars. Another good thing about this whole process is that I was able to consolidate a lot of like items into containers. So like I had several bags of raw cashews that I combined together. I had a bunch of little bags of rice that I combined, pasta, different things like that. And then I did end up really liking these tall containers for um, larger volume things like flour. I went ahead and put my bread flour in this one and labeled it as such. We've had a mishap. All of the spaghetti noodles are now in the mop bucket. I fell, fell from up here. Womp womp. So honestly, this organization took me all afternoon and the next day. And so I was very happy to have a meal from Green Chef waiting for me to prepare for a quick dinner for myself and Adam. And thank you to Green Chef for sponsoring today's pantry organization video. So today I'm going to be making these veggie and pesto flatbreads. I did go ahead and get the plant powered box from Green Chef this time. You guys know that I just finished up with a two week vegan challenge uh, that was really great. And and it honestly has inspired me to eat more plant-based meals. And so that's why I ordered this particular box because I know that in the past I have ordered the keto and carb conscious boxes from Green Chef and the flavors and flavor combinations that they have in their meals are just fantastic. So I've definitely worked with Green Chef in the past, but if you guys aren't familiar with them, they are a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well easy and affordable and they have plans to fit every kind of lifestyle. They let you choose from a wide variety of easy to follow lifestyles with select organic ingredients and the recipes are super quick with easy to follow instructions and they have chef tips on the card and a lot of photos to guide you along in preparing the recipe. Every time I get one of their boxes, I always learn a new cooking technique. And on this particular one, it was the technique of drizzling these flatbreads with olive oil and then sprinkling them with nutritional yeast before I put the uh, toppings on top. And OMG, this was delicious. I am a huge cheese lover and I have to say, I did not even miss the cheese on this recipe. It was totally delicious. So while the flatbreads were baking, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the almonds for the top of the kale salad. I also wanted to mention that they always have really healthy portions and so you're never gonna go hungry. That's one thing I love about Green Chef is that they offer really large portions and their flavor combinations are just spot on and delicious. So if you guys are looking for a way to get more plant-powered meals into your life, or if you're looking for any other specialty menus like low carb or keto, or they even have just a balanced living box also, I would definitely recommend Green Chef. I have been using their boxes for years, even before I had a YouTube channel, and I can definitely recommend them. It's super convenient to have these on hand for busy days like this one that I had, 
or if you want to meal prep them for lunches and dinners too. I've done that too and it is a fantastic way to use those meal kits as well. So if you guys want to try Green Chef, I have a super awesome coupon code for you. You can go to greenchef.us slash 80 Jen Chapin and use code 80 Jen Chapin to get $80 off your first four boxes and you'll also get free shipping on your first box. So this is a perfect opportunity to try this out if you've been wanting to greenchef.us slash 80 Jen Chapin and use code 80 Jen Chapin to get $80 off your first four boxes. Plus you'll get free shipping on the first box. All of the information will be in the description box below. So I hope you guys check it out. So after I enjoyed my delicious pesto flatbread, and I honestly have to say, I made one for Adam too, and he he enjoyed it just as much as I did, even he who is a meat eater. So definitely recommend that plant-powered box. But I'm just gonna continue on putting things into containers. This was honestly the most satisfying part of this whole pantry organization, was just getting everything out of their packages into these clear bins. Um, it was very like satisfying for me, and I think that once I refine this, and get some more of these containers um, the you know the look will be complete I'll talk about this more at the end but you know essentially when you're working on any organization project I feel like you rarely know what all you're gonna need at the very beginning you kind of have to get down into the weeds with the project and um, you know you might have to go back and purchase some more things and that's that's totally fine but you can see here that I got all of my dry goods out of their packages and I even used labels on my mason jars as well I'd love to know in the comment section below do you guys do a good job at keeping your pantry organized Do you use clear containers like these what is the most helpful tip that you have as far as pantry organization because I know that I can learn from that and I'm sure others can learn in the comments too so Here's kind of that double decker tray that I was telling you guys about. This one I ordered on Amazon and I, I really like it. I was actually thinking about getting a couple more of them now that I've kind of seen how it works, but it's really convenient to store like really short jars and cans, um, especially since the shelves in my pantry are super tall. It's a good way to use up that space. Next up are these spice packet organizers and I already had one of these so I just purchased another one. Um, these are fantastic as well. It really helps you kind of see what you have in terms of seasoning packets and I usually keep a lot of these on hand just because they're super versatile. It's a great way to add, you know, a side dish or seasoning to a meal. And then I also went ahead and started putting my K-cups into this drawer organizer. Now I have to say, this was probably my favorite hack of this whole uh, process because like I said, I got this on clearance at Walmart and it was like less than five bucks, um, but it works perfectly. The drawers are just tall enough for the K-cups. And it was actually funny because Adam was always complaining that every time he reached into the box to get a K-cup, he got the pumpkin spice and he doesn't like <laughs> that kind. And so now he can just go in there, find his coffee or his tea and it works out great. So now that I had everything emptied out or not, not everything, but mostly everything emptied out of the pantry. I'm going to go ahead and start organizing everything back in there. I decided to keep sort of like my dry goods, cake mixes, brownies, stuff like that on this side of the pantry. Um, the thing that's really most frustrating to me about my pantry, and it's honestly like a first world problem, is that the shelves are like 18 inches apart. And if I would have thought more clearly about that when <laughs> we built this house, uh, four years ago, I would have had them placed closer together because I feel like I could have gotten more shelves in um, and less wasted space. But the nice thing about those clear containers from Better Homes and Gardens is that they do stack up really well. So I'll definitely be getting more of those too complete the organization. But I tried to organize things in, um, you know, like areas as much as I could, like all of my baking supplies together, all of my dry goods together, all of my beans together, that kind of thing. Um, and also one of my favorite parts of this organization was this little spinny rack <laughs> that I got. I don't know what to call it, um, but it's the perfect size for granola bars and little bags of chips and different things like that. My kids have to take a snack to school on the days that they go. And so this is super convenient for them to be able to just run into the pantry and grab something. They can see what all is in there and make their choice. So I would definitely recommend this product. I've actually ordered another one that's similar to this from Amazon. 
um, since I've made this video because I liked it so much and so I'll link both of those down below the one from Amazon is a little bit more expensive but it's also larger so I think that one is gonna be super convenient too and look how satisfying that is turning around so this is the state of the pantry at the end of day one and I honestly had a hard time fitting everything back in there I don't know how everything doesn't fit back in there like it came out but these were the kind of the extra things that I had and throughout the next couple days I basically had to just move things around and find places for them so just to let you know I did not get all of this done in one day alas all right so it's actually several days later this project took me longer than I thought hashtag story of my life but I did get it done over two days and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. We've been living with it for a little while now and so I just wanted to update you on where I kind of put everything and hopefully um, this will work for us for <laughs> the time being. I went ahead and put all of our box mixes up here for like rolls and pie crust and cake mix and different things like that. And then there's also some granola up here here is where I put most of my baking goods, although I feel like I'm going to have to reorganize this as time goes on. Um, I do really like the look of these canisters and how you can see everything inside of it and the labels on them, so that's a plus. Obviously, I also used a lot of mason jars, which the mason jars are a little bit more problematic because they don't always, you know, stack great. The, the bad thing about this pantry that I've noticed is that there's so much space in between the shelves that it's really kind of an inefficient use of space. Um, and I probably should have researched that and had them put them closer together when we were building the house. I don't know, but what are you going to do, right? <laughs> and then there's more like specialty ingredients back here. Um, since I do a lot of different types of cooking videos, here on YouTube and I try to represent, you know, a diverse sort of array of diets and cooking styles. I do have quite a few specialty ingredients like arrowroot powder, garbanzo bean flour, different things like that. So that's what those are back there is lesser used ingredients. Down here, I really do like how this turned out with the K-cups. So definitely an inexpensive way to organize those. I also really like this spinner. I'm considering maybe getting another one if I can find one on Amazon or pick another one up at um, Walmart. I The only complaint I have about this is that I wish there were bins in the bottom too, but that's a small complaint. Um, it's been easy for the kids to grab snacks out of here. I've got oatmeal here, cereal here, popcorn crackers. Um, these two stands I really like and this is where I'm keeping most of my packets of seasoning. I have my tuna. Um, over here is chips. And then sort of on this shelf right here is where I'm putting like my grains and rice and pasta. Uh, this is where I started to put things back and ran out of room. So I'm not quite sure this is going to be the most efficient use of space just because I have some things hidden back there. And you can't really see that... Um, tiered shelf that I bought so that's kind of a problem so I think actually if I'm gonna end up doing this the right way what I'm gonna have to do is purchase more of these smaller containers and use those because those are stackable one on top of the other um, I think sometimes when you're doing a, a larger organization project like this, you really don't know what you are going to need to purchase until you complete it or until you get like <laughs> halfway into it. Um, so that's normal. You know, I used to feel like bad about that and feel like I was a failure at organizing, but I don't think so. I think that that's just something that you have to kind of do as you go along. Um, I went ahead and put our nut butters over here. There's some in this basket and then I have a few back there that I got from Costco. Um, these are just kind of random items here. I don't really have a rhyme or a reason to those. And then up here I did put just kind of more pantry staples like canned beans, canned tomatoes. Um, there's some more like dried fruit and nuts up there, jello, um, extra condiments. And then over here is more veggies, salsa, pasta sauce, that kind of thing. 
Um, we have this in here which has more like baking chocolate in it. Um, back there is where I put the candy so the kids cannot access it <laughs> regularly. Um, I went ahead and put my freezer pans back here in the pantry. I do like to keep those in here because they're out of the way and I don't access them that often so I can kind of stack stuff on top of there. Um, and then up top were just some condiments that I couldn't fit anywhere else. And then I do keep like larger, you know, appliances and dishes and carrying um, cases and things like that up top. And then on the bottom, I did kind of consolidate some of our lunch boxes. Um, this is just kind of extra ingredients. I kind of have a lot of stuff in my pantry right now because I'm going to be working on a lot of like recipe testing over the next few uh, months for my cookbook. And so a lot of these things will be used up for that. We have dog treats down here, pots and pans. Um, I keep my potatoes and onions in the pantry separate. And then I like to keep my instant pots down here on the bottom shelf so that they're easy to access. They're super heavy. Um, so if you put them up on the top and try to <laughs> get them down, you uh, they might fall on top of you. Um, and then the floor isn't really organized. We need to kind of do something with that. Um, but we do have like um, a stick vacuum over here and then I have my aprons hung up and some Swiffers and broom and things like that. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Like I said, if I wanna do things properly, um, I'll probably have to go and get some more of these stackable containers, but I can always do that in the future. All right, so that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Thanks you guys for coming along with me and organizing my mess of a pantry. I hope that you maybe got some inspiration from this. Thank you again to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. Uh, like I said, that pesto flatbread was delicious. If you guys want to try it out, you can get $80 off your first four boxes. Use the link in the description box below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.